This video is about how to fix your Visio VO22L HDTV10A model Visio TV by replacing the 3 amp fuse on the motherboard instead of the power board. It has a 3 amp fuse on the motherboard, actually a couple of them, uh, usually only one is blown, and it's a very small fuse, and it's a gold and white looking fuse on the motherboard, and it's kind of hidden, and I'll show you where it is so that you can replace it. I picked up this Visio TV at a garage sale because I heard about Visio TVs and how they commonly have blown fuses as the only problem with them. And sure enough, this one was just like that, but as I said, this one has its fuse kind of hidden away on the motherboard. So if you have a Visio TV, you might want to, or find one at a garage sale, you might want to pick it up because it may be worth fixing up. Now, I removed all the screws in this Visio TV so I could show you um, quickly how to take it apart and and such. Now the first the first screws that I removed were uh, were the stand screws. And the screws I removed were you know these four. Then after that I removed these four screws. Then I, I remove these two screws, and then I remove these four screws. Then you have to get the TV apart, and this is kind of a difficult part because you have to take your knife and carefully go along the plastic edge and pop the plastic edge out. Once that's a part like that, now you have more screws to unscrew. You have a screw here, and here, and here, and here, and these screws, these screws, and a nut on this thing right here, on the coaxial. Then, what you have to do is disconnect well, you untape this wire here, and then you untape this wire over here, and then you disconnect this cable right here, and then you take this whole sheet and you pull it back and up. That allows you access to the, uh, to the power board and to the motherboard. Now, the in the motherboard, the two fuses, you can see the power line coming in from the power board here into the motherboard here, and the two fuses are here and here. The one fuse I haven't messed with, I'll get really close so you can see it. Now this one fuse I haven't messed with The one, as you can see, I have this fuse here. I didn't, uh, I didn't touch. You see, it's white and and with gold contacts, uh, you know, gold coated contacts. And uh, if you look really closely with a loop or magnifying glass, you'll see it says three amp. And there's another one just like it underneath this fuse. It also says three amp. Uh, but I soldered this fuse on top of this fuse under here. I'll tip it so you can see. You see I just put some uh, soldering flux here and there on the contacts. 
and then just soldered it directly on top of the old fuse. Uh, where did I get this 3 amp fuse to uh, fix this TV? But yeah, this is the one you need to replace though, right here. But where did I get this uh, fuse? Uh, I'll show you. I got this fuse from a string of Christmas lights. Uh, just like these Christmas lights here. Now inside the Christmas lights uh, s plug here, you slide this out like this. And you can see the two little fuses in there. And they're 3 amp fuses. So just about every household has uh, some extra 3 amp fuses from uh, a string of Christmas lights. So I took my extra uh, fuse that I had from a string of Christmas lights, just like this one, this little 3 amp fuse, and I soldered it right on top of the dead fuse, and that fixed the TV. So after that fuse was soldered right, you know, right there on top of the dead one, I uh, I tried it and sure enough the TV worked again. So then you just put your TV back together. Take this thing and put it down over top of everything, making sure not to snag the wires. The wire here. There it goes. And just slide it up. Okay, remember to plug this cable back in, right here. There we go. And then tape this over. Tape this over again. Yep. Then uh, screw in all these screws here. These screws here, and screw in these screws here, and uh, screw on this nut back on, and put the cover back on, and then just you know push it back into place everywhere. And then screw these screws back in. Screw this back on. Screw these two screws in. Screw these four screws in. Plug the power cord back in and you're good to go. So that's the common problem with uh, this particular Visio model is that particular blown fuse. Alright, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you out.